Hello everybody and welcome, this is Scorpius9472, back with more Tomb Raider. I know I've been away for a while, but um, a lot of things came up, so let's get right into it. The last time we left off is we were at the Tomb of the Hogan. I'm pretty sure this is the last Greek level before we go into the... Um, the Egyptian levels. Hope everybody's been doing well, by the way. There's the lever. So what you want to do first <coughs> is pull, well, find the lever first. Pull this lever so that you can surface above. And so that lower can get some air. And put on my uh, Magnums, because there's going to be some nasties when I open this door. <coughs> the uh, the magnums were precautionary. Now that, that, now that he's out of the picture, we uh, run along these stairs and pull ourselves up to this. But what we want to avoid is the dart trap. So what we do instead, we line ourselves up here. We make a run and jump. Laura should be able to uh, climb up, uh, just about make that. Now usually a lot of people would just say that it's a standing jump, and I would agree with them. This way you don't set the dart trap off. From here then I think it will set off as soon as I jump over this side. No. My theory is correct. It'll only set off once you sit in that centre platform. So we'll come up here again and press the lever. That will bring the water back to the le to rising level. And as you'll notice, the block underneath is now free and the room below is now open. But before we go there, there's a med pack that we have to pick up below. It's an easily missed med pack, so it's often mistaken and not really seen. Jump ourselves through water, and down here is another lever. What you want to do is you want to pull that lever, because otherwise we will not be able to make the swim over to the next part reason for that is because we have to change the way the current flows. <laughs> Quickly backflip, or side flip. I realised there was no back to the area as soon as I climbed out, so I had to quick thinkly, quick thinkly, quickly think. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, quickly think on my toes. I have to scale this.
Just behind here is an available part where you can climb up. Just darkened out so that the player has to go a long way around. But for people who are used to this game, we'll choose this route around because it's a lot easier. You'll notice that there's a save crystal there. But what we want to do first... Is there is a pendulum. Pendulum blade. But there is a shotgun shells over there. Although that, that can also happen if you don't grab to, if you don't grab um, in time. Honestly, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. So we're going to try this again. There we go. Second time lucky. Now be careful because knowing Tomb Raider, it likes to take its time. It likes to take time and wear down its victims and whatnot. So just take your time on this part, okay? So what you want to do is just make your way back to that block. So like you did with the other block, just run it over and grab. It's a late grab, so don't worry. Eventually we're going to have to go into that room and take out Pierre. But all we've got to do, really, is uh, is just wait. Is just go through that room. But before we're going to do that, we're going to use the safe crystal. Just for the purpose of uh, having to do everything again from whence we came. So first of all, we'll go through the uh, the little opening that. See again. Now I am glad I used the save point because that shit can sometimes happen, where Laura, Laura tends to not grab, or you grab too late. So let's try this again. I just seen fucking Pierre then. Cheeky bugger. Now I'm not sure like if you when you load back into a safe point does he come? Though I just seen him so I'm not sure. I definitely was not imagining that I seen him. So with Pierre gone, we can breathe a sigh of relief, and we can stop peering our pants, because this first time I've seen it, that kind of scared the shit out of me. Anyway, you'll come to a swinging blade door. do for this is just slowly walk down to the edge. There he is. So in case you're impatient like I am, we're just going to go down here and use the magnums. 
Got the pistols again. And then Laura will smack her head off the ceiling. Now in here that you'll find some pickups already. <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll pick up a few, one magnum clips and two shotgun shells. Lovely. Now when you come to this room you'll notice that there are some tiles that have different textures. Uh, it doesn't matter what what uh, uh, what order you do these in. What you do is you make sure that you stand on each pressure plate and this door will open. You'll hear this secret sound and yeah pretty much. So what we gotta do for this it's a very precarious secret. You start basically how I started there and you just hold on the square button and keep jumping until you reach to this platform and hold X you hold X so that she can so that she can bring her arms forward and grab the ledge you pick up a large kit and shotgun shells and leave the room the door for some reason opens or doesn't close, I don't know what's going on with it but eventually I think once the once you get the water going it should stop it should uh... okay, once we're back up to the steps Pierre shouldn't bother us no more I usually measure that is just use the uh, part of the wall and just land on this platform here so you don't have to uh, mess about with it. Now that we've got that sorted, earlier I should have used the safe crystal for when I jumped over there but we haven't got time for that. Now this is a difficult jump. I have made it look easy, but believe me, that jump is very, very difficult. If you don't time it right, um, you can obviously get sliced in half. Bring Laura down here and shimmy her to the right. By the way, the way you do that jump is you measure you measure it by the square. Normally how you would do it is you would walk over to the very edge of uh, a square a grid. But since Laura But since Laura can't do that because of the blade, she then has to resort into different methods. So instead of doing said thing, you measure it as if you're at the very back of that square grid and you do a running jump and uh, of course the normal routine really so after you've done that with the water you drop in oh, I'm not sure if there's one up here as well nope my memory's serving me wrong okay so you swim up into this room you're gonna come into contact with a rat kill him and come into the come into the water and swim through. I'll put on my magnums for this, because there are going to be lions in here now. Now that we've got to kind of safe ground. There are apes at the top as well, so there's Right, 
So before I do anything else, I'm going to save it here. Because I know for a fact that if I do anything silly or, or reckless, then, you know, I can always come back to this point. few more shots and this ape should be dead. We won't have to worry about him. That's it. Okay. Now that we've done here, we want to investigate where that line came out of. So just to be sure that there's no nasties coming around the corner, be cautious and have your magnums ready. Now that we know there's nothing going to come out of here, after the lion's been dealt with, we we'll press the lever releasing the door that we've just seen before. Notice how there are spikes below? Those opening are just above, so if you time the, r the jump wrong, then you can basically have a nasty fall, and we'll have to reload back here again, which we don't want it happening. So Laura, let's do a standing jump into this area, and climb up. There's nothing any significant in this room, just where they were standing at the time. best thing to do for here is a standing jump and a quick grab. Take out your guns just in case. That's what I like to do. Even though I've played this 100 times, it doesn't hurt to be cautious. Pick up the gold key and the large medkit. Now getting out of this room is just as easy as jumping in. So measure up Laura, and pick a spot where you know that you're not going to be, you know, murdered by the spikes. Take a take a standing jump and a run and a run at a square. Shouldn't hurt. Just so that you know for sure that you're not going to be spiked. Now usually I like to check the water just in case because again it's been a while since I've been back on this so my memory's a bit flustered. So forgive me if I do give you wrong information. But if you'd like to, just for out of curiosity you want to check in the water, you're free to do so. Just be aware that there could be some enemies in here. If not, that's perfect. But there doesn't seem to be anything on the floor so we'll continue the way we were. Just if people were curious as well. And it was just kind of serving a memory purpose again. So after this now, it's a few running jumps. And before you reach the very end of this hall, there's a, med a small med kit over there. But there are also st things to kill inside here. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything ambushing us so far. I was wrong. I was relating back to when I did a playthrough of this before uh, on the PC version, and there was things in there already, but there doesn't seem to be this time around. So, anyway, collect the small mid kit. And what you'll notice are four pressure plates and five doors. One to your, two to your left, one up top, and two to your right. Of course, there is the door with the uh, with the key receptacles.
both rusty and you can notice that there's a safe crystal behind the door too so what we'll want to do is we'll pull our block to the pressure plates and to avoid getting much much damage brought upon us what we'll do is we'll climb, climb up so that was a door further away from us so we take out our pistols as we will not need the magnums so we'll have a closer inspection when we walk in or run in there's nothing on either side but some shotgun shells so this also is kinda like a gauntlet for the last part of this level but there are there is a boss at the end of this level just to real just to make you uh, aware so after that you pick up the magnums and the shotgun shells and you proceed with moving the block to different pressure plates so there's a rusty key in here but there are boulders on either side so as you've seen just there you take a little run to when you get towards when you get to the centre more or less and you do a a jump more or less just to get yourself away from the uh, it's the quickest way to get yourself uh, away from those boulders because those boulders come down real quick so the next pressure plate will be the, the one to the far left or as it is far forward So they have been dealt with, and the lines are last. So we'll have a little look in here. All there should be is a small med kit, I think, and there's nothing else in here. I don't think. Nope. There's only a small med kit in here. No worries. So we we'll pick this up. Good for our our health collecting. In fact, where are we up to now? 37 mid mid kit or uh, small mag packs. Now we should have had 29, but due to the last, due to one of the levels that I forgot one of the med kits. <coughs> Climb up in, and you'll notice that two doors are open this time. Oh, so there's no lines. Okay, so both of these doors open. You can notice that there's a blade door over there. So what we'll do is just stand between jump as soon as you emerge in here. This goes off. For a second, I thought I could hear rats, so I brought out my weapons. That's the reason. But uh, it was this. So I pick up the rusty key and the large med pack. I did something stupid there literally ran into the door I couldn't stop Laura in, in time 
So now we load it up. Um, we're going to have to go back through that again. So I'm just going to pause it. So back at it again. Sorry about that previous part. Um, yeah, that took. Didn't take too long actually. It was actually quicker than the last time. So we got both keys and all the collectibles from each room. By the way, the room that you didn't see inside of was the one that we had the ape come through, the second one, because we went through the door first with the bla with the blade doors in, and we didn't really pay much attention to the other door. So all that was in there was shotgun shells. Now what we do here is we save our game. Of course, music will sound. Now there's a secret here that we must get. So what I'll do. So eventually, you end up... So you end up playing a bit of a game of leapfrog, but it's all the more worth it once you come into this room. You get some more easy clips and some magnum clips too. It's the last secret of this level, I believe. So once we do that, we can now slide back all the way down into the water. She'll be able to dodge that crocodile. Take him out rather easily. And we'll come into this room here. We'll scale up this part of the, uh, the architecture. So what we've got to do here is we've got to time this perfectly so we can hit that block there. So sometimes you may not get the first part, but if you do, that's grand. But if you ever feel like um, that you can't get it, uh, maybe just slide until you think, like give it a split second before you drop into water. So after that, drop into the water and out for the exit. So now that you can kind of see these two feckers at the top here, you gotta fight those. They're like a semi boss. They're not a real boss. The real boss is Pierre. Now we gotta fly in this blasted opening. Which should be like just underneath here. Swim into this opening. You should see that there is a save point and a lever. Pull the lever first and then save your game. And that should open the door to uh, the temple. And we'll use this crystal because we know sometimes that we might die. That tends to happen. 
that's happened twice on this level. All from mistakes. This shall be your battle arena for taking on these uh, hemoths. So naturally I'm going to go with my magnums. Not the ice cream. Now that you've taken out one, one must assume that you're going to have to take out the second, which is also true. So ready yourself. Because once you walk in, that fucker's going to come alive. No? Okay, okay. Come on, asshole. Hmm. Maybe that was the trigger. I don't know. This dick is meant to, like, literally come alive. Okay. He just doesn't want to listen to me, does he? I honestly don't get why he's not bursting through. Now, I know you have to kill two of them. And this blood guard is not... Swear to God, if you burst open while I'm right next to you. Right, okay. Seeing as our mate doesn't want to play, let's just use this safe crystal after we've beaten his comrade. What a pussy, let me just add. Now we're going to face Pierre. A little late for the price giving. It is the taking part. And you see, this is why we we saved it. I thought a few shotgun rounds would have gotten him, but apparently not. Okay, so we'll just load that back in and hopefully we can get to fight our little uh, horseman. Usually a save and load back in kind of triggers that. So let's see if our little boy does. And still nothing. Nothing. No worries. Oh, come on. It's not a vase that you can't just not jump over. What the hell? A little late for the price given, you know? Still, it is the taking part which counts.
die, bitch. I'll take everything you've got in your pocket. I'm still a little bit upset that we couldn't go, you know, and go grab that uh, last at horse lantern. But oh well. Alas. We'll pick up what we've got to do here and then we'll go our separate ways. We'll see your many brothers soon in the Atlantis uh, arena. Well, the Atlantean stronghold and all that kind of stuff. What the hell am I doing? So pick up those magnum clips and go into this corner here and you should find some more magnum clips. I'm still going to go try to see if we can have a fight with our little man. He owes it to me after beating Pierre. Ooh. Insert the gold key into the gold receptacle. Okay. Mm, we've got minimal health left, so we'll see. Yes! Okay, that may have been a mistake. Okay, that's a bit overkill. Right, I like how... Yeah. I like how he bursts open after I've killed Pierre, and I've got like a low health left. What a dick. Okay. Thank you for coming. Now, Pierre, let's just finish what we started earlier. A little late for the price giving, no? Still, it is the taking part which counts. like stupid Lara Croft and her acrobats. Well, I would have said so too, but we are just very shit and, uh, and whatnot, so... Show it up your bum. Ooh. The hell? <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> Alright, now that we've probably taken down Pierre and two horsemen, it's time to recollect what we kind of collected before. Let's just put the key in the recycle. And get the flock out of here. Oh, come on. It's a 2D fence, for God's sake. Done.
No. And this brings us to the end of the level. Q cutscene. Here lies Tohokan, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis, who even after the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. He died without child and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly, Tohokan. Talk and be like, oh, fuck off. So we ended the game. Uh, we ended the uh, uh, level of 17 kills, 24 pickups, two out of two secrets. Finished in 34 minutes and 47 seconds. This has been Scorpius9472 bringing you more Tomb Raider. The more will be coming soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next recording or stream. Goodbye for now.